Hey everyone! Today I'm going to tell you about a new phishing scheme known as Browser in the Browser. What makes it special is that even very advanced users can fall for it. You probably all know by now what phishing is. You get an email containing some juicy offer and a link, or a WhatsApp message, or a comment on a forum. The packaging is not important here. The goal is. And the goal of phishing is to coax valuable information out of you say your bank card number or Facebook credentials or other personal data that can be sold. Scammers keep coming up with new sophisticated tricks to lure their victims into that trap. Fortunately, in most cases, you can spot phishing a mile away. It might be the layout that's all wrong or the email from your bank riddled with spelling errors. Check out the link below for more about the telltale signs. Above all, you can detect a fake by the domain name. If the URL reads, for example, kapsersky.com instead of kaspersky.com, the verdict is obvious. A correct domain name is the most reliable sign that a page is real. So all you need to do is look at the URL, right? Alas, no, for cybercriminal techniques are always evolving. Security researcher Mr. Dux has discovered a fresh scam and kindly shared it with the world. Basically, a correct web address can be simply drawn on a page. Websites are created using layout tools and scripting languages, predominantly HTML, CSS and JavaScript. These core technologies have become so flexible and powerful that they can be used to build any interface and even draw a fake window on a page. Specifically, the scheme works as follows. The scammer creates an original site with interesting content, for example, a list of job offers for young mothers. But before you can respond to a vacancy, you first have to create an account. That is, hand over your phone number or email address to someone, then come up with a password. This is time-consuming, so the scammer is kind enough to provide a third-party login option through Facebook, Google, Apple or other services. You've surely come across this login method. It's handy and generally safe. For example, if you choose to sign in through Apple, a separate apple.com login window opens where you need to enter your password. That way, you know the site you're trying to log into won't steal your credentials. Now, let's get back to our scammer and victim. When the victim chooses this login method, a familiar login window appears on the screen. Say, for Facebook or Google, this window displays the correct URL, logo, input fields and all the usual interface elements. The catch is that all this is simply an image on the phishing page. There is no separate window at all. If you enter your username and password there, they don't go to Microsoft, Google or Apple, but straight to the cybercriminal's server. Here's how it looks in practice. All looks kind of authentic, right? Thankfully, there is a way to rather easily spot the ruse. Time to make a mental note. Authentication windows are just browser windows. In other words, they can be maximized, minimized and moved around the screen independently of other windows. Fake elements are part of the page thereon. You can move them around inside the parent window, but not beyond its border. And it's this that helps unmask them. Sure, not everyone has the time or patience to check every single page element when logging in, which is where security solutions come in. Two functions are in play here. First, it's a password manager. This checks the page's URL and doesn't let you enter credentials on an unknown site, even if it looks authentic. Another feature is an anti-phishing module. This also checks URLs and warns of danger. One last no-brainer is two-factor authentication. Enable it wherever possible. Then, even if intruders steal your credentials, they won't be able to log in to your account without a one-time code. It will be sent to you, not to them. Read more about unusual phishing attacks on our Kaspersky daily blog. Links are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. And if not, just pretend you never watched it. See you later.